हेलो नवाई वॉम वेलकम टू टेस्ट बुक सुपर कोचिंग आज के इस पर्टिकुलर सेशन में आप सभी का स्वागत है विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स जस्ट वेरी क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड आज के इस पर्टिकुलर सेशन के माध्यम से हम लोग ज्यादा से ज्यादा क्वेश्चंस को कवर करेंगे दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर मॉक टेस्ट गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग देवशीर शिवांशी सतेंद्र पाल कस्तूरी पूजा आम्या गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू यू ऑल ऑल हैव रिवाइज्ड व्हाटएवर वी हैव डन फॉर द पास्ट टू डेज और आपने अच्छी तरह से उसको प्रॉपरली रिवाइज कर लिया है uh, आप लोगों ने सेगमेंटेड फॉर्म में अपने नोट्स भी बना लिए होंगे लाइक आई वाज टेलिंग यू प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चंस को जब आप प्रैक्टिस कर रहे होते हैं अनटिल एंड अनलेस यू आर नॉट ट्राइंग टू मेक श्योर कि आप अच्छी तरह से उनको uh, एक कॉम्पोजिट वे में रिकॉर्ड करें इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ फ्यूटाइल एक्टिविटी सो जस्ट मेक इट अ पॉइंट के यू आर मेकिंग द मोस्ट ऑफ इट गुड इवनिंग डोमिनेटर विशाल आई एल आल्सो शेयर इट ऑन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप सो दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर अबाउट इट दैट वी आर लाइव and all of you can join before we get started mm. perfect so uh, without further ado jaldi se let's just get started let's just very quickly get started good evening good evening everyone uh, aapka first question ab aane wala hai i'm going to be sharing the uh, the first question with all of you so let me just very quickly do that and can you please confirm whether you are able to see the ppt or not uh, is not changing good evening vishnu good evening mohammad good evening everybody good evening uh, can you check whether the slides are moving or not no the slides are not moving one second right. One minute. The second, I'm just taking out the PPT. All right. So in the meantime, you can just make sure that uh, good evening, Shilpa. Good evening, Supratim. Good evening. I'm just opening the slides so that all of us can actually see the slides. Uh, one. Okay, I think now the issue is sorted. Uh, now the issue is sorted. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Can you please confirm whether now you are able to see the refresh slide? Because I think now the issue is sorted. Can you just confirm whether you are able to see the slide now? अब आपको स्लाइड दिख पा रही है कि नहीं? Can you just probably um, confirm that? Hmm. Why this is not moving technically over here? To show this system. Let me just try one last time. Okay, wonderful. Maybe over. Oh. Can you all see possibly how the slide is probably moving? There's some sort of an issue. Maybe if it is not sorted, I'll quickly take technical support also. Um, yeah, but it's not moving actually. One minute. Just. Oh. 
Okay, I think it's probably moved for you now. It's going to be like a terrible disaster. Okay, anyway, uh, let's very quickly get started. Now we're 13 days away from your exam. Here comes your first question. Let's just very quickly get started. Please answer the first question. Here you're able to see the first question in Oscar Wilde's essay, uh, which is the decay of lying. Okay, so the decay of lying and observation, the decay of lying uh, and observation. This has been like, you know, so this is called the decay of lying. The decay of lying. So this is the decay of lying, the decay of lying and observation, the decay of lying and observation. Uh, what does Vivian defend? What is it that Vivian is defending? This is an essay which is written by Oscar Wilde. What is it that Vivian is trying to defend? What is it that Vivian is trying to defend? Or if we can actually start writing it as well. C is absolutely the correct answer. Art for art's sake is absolutely the correct answer. So here you are able to see what is Vivian trying to defend. Vivian is trying to come up. Vivian is trying to defend the aesthetic movement. Uh, and what is the aesthetic movement? That is the art for art's sake movement. That is what Vivian is trying to defend overall. That is what you are able to see. So the decay of lying, uh, which is an observation over here. What are you able to see? You are able to see that Oscar Wilde is trying to make sure that he defends this overall. One minute, I'm going to come to. So that is a problem, actually. I'll just see one last time if I'm not able to sort this issue. I'll, I'll take technical support. Okay, now are you able to see? Did it did it actually change for all of you? Did it actually change for all of you? I think there's something wrong with the system also. Anyway, so what are we able to see? We're able to see that the entire argument for aestheticism, the entire argument for art for art's sake movement, that is where it's coming. Moving on to the second question. This is the second question. I hope you're able to see the second question altogether. Uh yeah, yeah, Shilpa, there is some issue actually. That is what I'm able to see, you know. I'll probably just try to get it done uh, with the technical team anyway. Uh, I hope all of you are able to see this question. In an essay of dramatic poesy, whom does John Dryden refer to as the most learned and judicious writer that any theatre has ever produced, that any theatre has ever produced? What is the right answer over here? Very good. Supratim has answered it correctly. That's true, that's true. So what are we able to see? An essay on dramatic poetry, which is written by John Dryden, which is inaugurating a dialogic way. So for the very first time, dialogue is getting encouraged. So you're able to see how Lysidius is coming. You're able to look at, uh, you know, how these four characters, Neander, of course, symbolizing Dryden himself, you're having Crites, you're having Lysidius, uh, how all of these characters, these four characters are having their own opinion, right? So for instance, Crites, C.A. Crites is actually supporting the ancients. Neander is symbolic of the new man altogether, right? Uh, so Lysidius is the person who's supporting uh, the French drama. So you're able to see that John Dryden is saying in his essay on dramatic poesy, that when we're talking about Ben Johnson, Ben Johnson, according to him, is actually the most learned and judicious of all the writers. This is what he talks about. So John Dryden over here, that is uh, what he's trying to talk about, okay? So please keep that in mind. An essay on dramatic poesy, kaise dialogic form ko encourage kar hai, that is also important. I think I'll not leave my hand only from this particular pen tab. Which of the following short story collections by E.M. Foster deals with science fiction or supernatural themes? It's dealing with science fiction or supernatural themes. Please quickly tell us the right answer over here. What becomes the right answer for everybody? We're waiting for everybody to answer it correctly. So which of the following short story collections by E.M. Foster is dealing with science fiction? It is dealing with science fiction. The Celestial Omnibus. Okay, what is the correct answer, everyone? 
The eternal moments and other stories, that is the correct answer. And here you are able to see eventually it was all coming together in the celestial omnibus form, right? It was all coming together in the celestial omnibus form. So what is the correct answer over here? The eternal moment and other stories. The eternal moment, baki sare log A, A, A kar rahe hain. No, no, no. Celestial omnibus and other stories, 1911 mein collectively a raha hai. But what are you able to see? You are able to see that eternal moment and other stories ke andar, there are all of these stories which are being talked about okay ye pura compilation jo aara, that is different right that is absolutely different right uh, but most of the stories that are coming in eternal moment are dealing with your supernatural theme which among the following writers served as the editor of one of contribute uh, one of the contributing writers for vedanta for the western world vedanta for the western world ये सब आपको पता है विदांता फॉर द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड इसको अपने नोटपैड में भी लिख लीजिए या रॉकलेज वगैरह आपके पास है ऑरेंज वाली या ब्लू वाली हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर के अंदर जस्ट इन पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म आप इसको लिख भी दीजिए वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड क्रिस्टोफर इशू गुड रवि पांडे प्रणव एवरीबडी इज गेटिंग द राइट आंसर नो इट इज नॉट ये इट्स क्रिस्टोफर इशर वुड इट इज क्रिस्टोफर इशर वुड ठीक है तो वेदांता को किससे एसोसिएट करा जाता है वेदांता को वी आर एसोसिएटिंग इट विद क्रिस्टोफर इशर वुड so please remember that that when we are looking at of course other people are also contributing over here but we are able to see that isherwood had written essays on vedanta on translating the gita hypothesis and belief gita and the war etc so just say vedanta aa jata hai when you talk about vedas all together you are able to see that isherwood is the person who's pioneering it isherwood ne ye sara kuch pioneer kiya hua hai i'm not even moving my hand from there so that you know this problem doesn't happen and we are quickly able to cover most questions thomas paine's rights of man was published in 1791 as a response to which of the following political pamphlets ye bahut simple hai everybody should get this right everybody should get this right so when we are talking about thomas paine's rights of man which was published was a response to which of the following political pamphlets by thomas paine on french revolution all right thomas paine by on french revolution Okay, now this question is actually incorrect. This question, yeah, absolutely right. So, uh, Thomas Paine's Rights of Man, that's correct. Essay by, by Edmund Burke. Yeah, but Edmund Burke hona chahiye. And Edmund Burke, kya kar rahe? Edmund Burke is writing Reflections on Revolution of France, right? So, when we are looking at Reflections on the Revolution in France, uska response aa raha tha. Burke ka blik raha tha, Edmund Burke ka blik raha tha. Edmund Burke was writing one year earlier. Year, reflections on revolution in France and uska response de raha tha Thomas Paine. Okay, so you should have mentioned that your birth is not mentioned at all. You should have remembered this. Okay, so rights of man jo hai, wo that is a response to Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing this essay by Edmund Burke. Okay, so Edmund Burke is writing So please keep that in mind. It's a very simple question. It's not going to be wrong. And you should be able to get the right answer over here. Okay, I've removed my hand. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, uh, what is the correct answer? In his de uh, essay, essay by Edmund Burke, 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 Edm
आपको थोड़ी बहुत ध्यान में रखनी पड़ेगी सो डोंट गो रॉन्ग विद दिस सो हियर यू आर एबल टू सी दैट यू नो व्हाट डज इट रेफर टू यू आर यू यूजिंग द सिंबल ऑफ एनिमल ह्यूमन काइंड इज बिकमिंग द सिंबल ऑफ एनिमल ऑल टुगेदर सो डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैन सो डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैन ये जो आ रहा है व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट ऐसे कलेक्शन यू नो एंड हियर व्हाट इज केनेथ बर्ग ट्राइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ही इज यूजिंग ह्यूमन काइंड और ही इज कंपेयरिंग इट टू एन एनिमल यूजिंग सिंबल ऑफ एनिमल okay that is what you are able to see all right so please keep that in mind all right moving on to the next question william somerset maugham william somerset maugham commented that having read the book i learned that the only way to write novels was to write it like e m foster what is he talking about what is he talking about what is he discussing what is he talking about what is he talking about very simple work remember e m foster ne he is writing this particular work very good see aspects of line or aspects of novel a aziz uttam everybody is giving the right answer very good ravi a is not the right answer but aspects of novel is the right answer so aspects of novel jo hai ye e m foster ne it was compiled by him at the trinity college cambridge right and he is discussing about english as a novel i'll, I'll get my side uh, self on the other side so that you'll be able to uh, see it better okay so please don't go wrong with these questions because these are uh, like you know predominantly very scoring questions that we are having fine okay moving on to the next question which of the following philosophers uh, wrote a rebuttal to john locke's an essay concerning human understanding 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 जल्दी बताइए नो 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 इट्स नॉट ए कास्ट वेरी गुड डोमिनेटर ओके यस 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 आई एम वेरी फॉर द राइट आंसर आई एव गॉट डी आई एव गॉट सी जो कि गलत है नो 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 इट्स लेबनीजियन ठीक है किसी ने अभी तक दिया नहीं है इट्स लेबनिस राइट सो न्यू एसे ऑन ह्यूमन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ये रिबटल है राइट बाई बाई लेबनिस ऑफ जॉन लॉक्स एंड एसे कंसर्निंग ह्यूमन अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट लेबनीजियन थ्योरी जो है ये वैसे भी आपकी आती है दैट इज वॉट यूर एबल टू सी जॉन लॉक एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट नोशन देते हैं टैबुलर आसा और ब्लैंक स्लेट का सो दैट ऑल्सो यूल हैव टू कीप इन माइंड प्लीज डोंट गो रॉन्ग विद दिस सो लेबनीजियन फिलोसफी लेबनिस इज द वन who's giving a rebuttal to john lock john lock ko jo rebuttal de rahe hain that's actually lebnis okay lebnis is the person who's doing that okay uh, no aries that's perfectly all right that's perfectly all right please usko thoda sa dhyan mein rakhiyega uh, nothing in this mind without being first in the senses except for the mind itself except for the mind itself so he tries to rebut it he says that you know um, it's 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 both the senses the mind the dual role that is being played all together uh the title of francis bacon's philosophical work uh novum organum is a reference novum organum is a reference to which of the following works by aristotle it is a reference to which of the following works by aristotle novum organum novum organum this is actually a reference to novum organum the title of francis burke's philosophical work novum organum is a reference to which of the following works by aristotle very good very good absolutely right so aristotle ne work kiya tha organon right organon is the work by aristotle and you are able to see that novum organum jo hai which was written in latin this is what we were talking about latin was used by romans right now when we were practicing questions related to uh, language and yahan par organon ki baat ho rahi hai theek hai it was a it was a treatise on syllogisms all a b all b c therefore all a c syllogisms and all analogies logic jo aapka aata hai that you're talking about it's all philosophical constraint aaj kal bhi you know to select people what are you trying to see you're trying to check their logic that is what you're trying to check right you're talk, checking your logical abilities all together so in novum organum bacon is telling you about this new system of logic that he believes to be superior to the old ways uh, ways of syllogisms that is what he talks about okay he is telling about this baconian method aphoristic baconian method ye aapko thoda sa yaad rakhna hai observations become important isi se 
correlated hai aapka concept of empiricism i will first observe and then only i will agree otherwise i won't agree at all uh, how is inconsistency between tradition and modernity depicted in ak e. ramanujan's is there an indian way of thinking yesterday we also talked about how ak e. ramanujan is translating your anantamurti sanskara sanskara i hope you are able to correlate that jaldi bataiye iska kya sahi jawab hai what is the right answer over here what is the right answer over here how is inconsistency between tradition and modernity between tradition and modernity depicted between tradition and modernity depicted how is the inconsistency between tradition and modernity depicted how is it depicted mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm इट इज डिपिक्टेड विद जेनरेशनल एग्जाम्पल ठीक है उनके फादर का एग्जाम्पल सो वट आर यू एबल टू सी ही इज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू ही इज ट्राइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द बेस्ट वे इज टू गिव यू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ यू नो द फादर फॉर इंस्टेंस इवन राइट नाउ वेन यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट एवरीबडी इज गॉन ऑनलाइन सो लॉर्ड ऑफ योर पेरेंट्स वुड बी एक्चुअली कंज्यूमिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑनलाइन बट आर दे एक्चुअली ट्रांजेक्टिंग बिजनेस लाइक यू पीपल विल और ट्रांजेक्टिंग एंड मेकिंग ऑप्शन चॉइसिस एज कंफर्टेबली एज यू डू द आंसर इज नो सो दैट इज what we are talking about over here theek okay? hai लगा था तो ये आपको मार्क करना है क्वीन ठीक है लगने से कुछ नहीं होगा यू आर टू मार्क इट आल्सो सो रामानुजन फादर द साउथ इंडियन ब्राह्मण यू नो अगेन ट्रेडिशन वर्सेस मॉडर्निटी ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स यू आर एबल टू सी सो यू नो ही वोर धोतीज इन अ ट्रेडिशनल ब्राह्मण स्टाइल बट ही आल्सो वोर इंग्लिश जैकेट्स ओवर हिज धोतीज सो दैट इज अ ब्लेंड दैट यू आर एबल टू सी राइट दैट इज अ चैटनिफिकेशन दैट यू आर एबल टू लुक एट ओके All right. Which of the following essays is not a part of Chinua Achebe's hopes and impediments selected essays? Hopes and impediments selected essays, which is not a part of it. Which is not a part of it. Hopes and essays, which is not a part of it. Yes, everyone. Which of the following essays are not a part of Chinua Achebe's hopes and impediments? Hopes and impediments का part नहीं है. What is the correct answer over here? No, 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 no. See, opening essay ही यही है. Don't get confused, okay? This is the opening essay of hopes and impediments. यही आपका opening essay है. This is the opening essay piece that you are having, right? He talks about how African people are considered to be monolithic. एक ही particular ढांचे में आपने उनको define कर दिया है, right? That is what is happening. Uh, so ये तो आपका opening essay हो जाता है. Don't get it wrong at all. Okay, don't get it wrong at all. Very good. Yes, this I am able to see. Nativity is a work by Roy Campbell. Nativity किसने लिखा है? Nativity is a work that is written by Roy Campbell. ये Roy Campbell ने ये work लिखा है nativity का. So hopes and impediments. Hopes and impediments selected essay. This is a collection by Chinua Achebe. Okay, and what are we able to see? You are generalizing Africans as a monolithic culture, which is wrong. Opening essay है and image of uh, racism right an image of africa racism in conrad's heart of darkness that you're able to see and nativity is something which is written by roy campbell so please remember that which of the following texts originates from the commencement speech given by david foster david foster wallets at the kenyan college at the kenyan college on 21st may 2005 later developed into an essay later developed into an essay The subtitle is some thoughts delivered on a significant occasion about living a compassionate life. The con uh, so so where which is the work that we're talking about? No, it is not oblivion. It is not oblivion. It is not oblivion. What is the correct answer here? It is not oblivion. I'm saying. <laughs> no, C is also wrong. नो दिस इज वॉटर ठीक है अभी तक किसी ने सही जवाब नहीं दिया था तो ये सारे क्वेश्चन एक बार दोबारा से आप वीडियो को देख लीजिएगा दिस इज वॉटर समॉट डिलीवर्ड ऑन अ सिग्निफिकेंट ओकेजन अबाउट लिविंग अ कम्पेशनेट लाइफ अबाउट लिविंग अ कम्पेशनेट लाइफ ये डेविड वॉस्टर वॉलिस ने किया है डेविड वॉस्टर वॉलिस ने किया है सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड दिस एस ए यू नो कन्वर्ट इन टू प्रॉपर बुक ऑल टूगेदर Okay, and he says that purpose of higher education is the ability to be able to be empathetic individuals. 
okay uh, in master tools will never dismantle the master's house which are the following feminist writer questions the scope and ability for change to be in instigated when examining problems through a racist patriarchal lens through a racist patriarchal lens Yes, everyone, quickly tell us, quickly tell us what is the right answer over here? What is the right answer? Very good. Dominator Rajneesh has got the right answer. This is Audrey Lord. Okay. Audrey Lord is also writing this work called Zami, right? Uh, a new spelling of my name. Zami is a very important work that you're able to see. So again, you're able to see in Sister Outsider. So in Sister Outsider, what is happening? In Sister Outsider, essays and speeches, Audrey Lord talks about okay, you cannot use the same. The master's tool will never dismantle the master's house. That is what she talks about. And Dale Spender also talks about man-made language. Remember, so Dale Spender we have exam which you have done. So you are able to see that Dale Spender also discusses about man-made language. That how the language that we are using is actually man-made. So man-made, man-made language. That is what you know your Dale Spender actually talks about. Okay, so you can't really use the same systems because there are biases inherent in the language. So how can you break the system? That's it. That is what they're saying. In which of the following works does Meridian Lee Seward uh, wrote about the struggles that women faced during the Depression era? What were the struggles that women <coughs> faced during the Depression era? Yes, everyone. What is the, the, the thing that we're talking about that women faced during the Depression era? Very good, very good. Women on the bread lines, right? Women on the bread lines, that's absolutely the correct answer. So 1932, mein, women on the bread lines, Le Sior ka, uh, very important proletariat work that you're able to see. Okay, she's talking about poor women, uh, particularly during the Depression era in Minnesota, right? In Minnesota. And a very detached observer, but she's trying to talk about, you know, how women are fighting for the survival altogether. And, uh, you know, these are the roles that they're playing. So again, women were working on the streets, how they were trying to keep two ends meet. Uh, so Lissior is talking about women on the bread lines, women on the bread lines, very compelling work altogether that you're able to see. When was Daniel Defoe, Journal of the Plague Year published? Journal of the Plague Year, you bilkul bhi galat nahi hona chahiye. Journal of the Plague Year, talking about the bubonic plague, which London mein aaya tha, isko great plague of London bhi bola jata hai. And it is considered to be the last epidemic plague in the city. Very good, Aziz. Very nice. And everybody also, everybody has got the right answer. 1722, Journal of the Plague Year, account of the experiences that you're able to see, which great plague ki se aa rahe hai. So please keep that in mind, okay? Please keep that in mind. Which of the following sets of interlocutors debate on art in Oscar Wilde's The DK? Okay, this we've done. Oh, uh, no. This technically we've not done. Okay? This technically we've not done. Okay? The first question was, that what is Vivian's position? So Vivian to Agya. So maybe if you want to eliminate, maybe if you want to eliminate these, you can eliminate these, but it's like a twisted question. So that is how questions repeat in your net exam, right? That is how you will be able to see a repetition of questions in your net exam. Absolutely right. Vivian and Cyril. Okay? Vivian and Cyril is the right answer. There is a dialogue that you're able to see. So basically, they're, they're the names of the two sons that you're able to look at. And uh, realism versus romanticism is puri ki puri debate chal rahi hai. That is what you're able to talk about. So, you know, according to Vivian, the DK of lying is there. He talks about art for art's sake. And that's not what Cyril also talks about. Okay? So, please keep that in mind. All right. Which of the following uh, George Bowring's literary non-fiction works highlights the centrality of any writing piece? Highlights the centrality of any writing piece. Highlights the centrality of any writing piece. Highlights the centrality of any writing piece. Which of the following George Bowers' literary non-fiction highlights the centrality of any writing piece?
great. Amrita Vani has got the right answer. So it is writing and reading. It is writing and reading. That is absolutely the correct answer. So what are we able to see? Writing and reading, jo hai, iske andar essays are rahe hai from a single paragraph to almost 12,000 words altogether. And she's talking about a plethora of things, including photography as well. Okay. That is what you are able to see. In ancient versus moderns, which of the following ancient literary personalities have been mentioned in the battle of the books? Which have been mentioned in the battle of the books? Which have been mentioned in the battle of the books? The literary personalities. So again, remember King's Library. Abhi tak sahi jawab nahi aaya. We've not got the right answer yet. We've not got the right answer yet. No, 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 no. Okay, anyway. So Virgil is there, Cicero is there, Homer is there and Aristotle is there, right? So Virgil, Cicero, Homer and Aristotle, they are there. So again, it's a short, uh, short satire that you're able to see. And uh, yaha par, what you have to remember, this literary battle between the books, right? The At the King's Library, housed at St. James Palace. Uh, so we are able to see that, you know, the ancients versus modern debate, that is something that comes across over here. And uh, who are all the people that, are there, that we are able to see? Virgil, Cicero, Homer and Aristotle. Right? Virgil, Cicero, Homer and Aristotle. So where you have classical literature ke notes, ke hai, western age, ke hai, you can actually talk about it. Okay? Who is the author of is essays? Now, this is essays that we're talking about, okay? This is essays that we're talking about. Who's the writer associated with it? He actually popularized the term as well. Very good, Queen. That's a good way to learn it. He also popularized the term. Okay, Montague is absolutely the right answer. Most of you have got this right. Montague is absolutely the right answer. So Montague is known for popularizing this particular genre. Okay, uh, and overall, this was then later on uh, pursued by Bacon and like-minded people altogether. Who among the following is responsible for establishing the Southern Review? The Southern Review. That is what the question is saying. The Southern Review. The Southern Review. Ke liye, who is the person who is behind the Southern Review? Behind the Southern Review, who's the person whom you're able to see behind the Southern Review? Who's the person behind Southern Review? Right. It's Robert Penn Warren. Okay. It's Robert Penn Warren that we're able to see. Robert Penn Warren, 1935. So, Southern Review, Review which is a quarterly literary magazine, magazine Robert Penn Warren, jo the, he was the one who actually started it. Okay. Charles W. Pinkin, funded by Huey Long also. They were also uh, investing in this particular periodical. Which of the following modernist essay is credited with much cited praise that on or about December 1910, Human nature, human character changed, human character changed. Which is it that we're talking about? Which is it that we're talking about? Let me tell you what is the correct answer over here. And this you should all not go wrong with, right? This should be absolutely correct. You shouldn't go wrong with this one at all. You shouldn't go wrong with this one at all. What is the correct answer, everybody? What becomes the correct answer over here? Very good. Supratim, Dominator, I think most of you have got the right answer over here. Most of you have got the right answer over here. It is Virginia Woolf. Virginia Woolf's Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown. So Virginia Woolf, Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown. So Yamapar, what are you able to see? That Mr. Bennett and Mr. Mrs. Brown, this essay that you're able to see, this is absolutely correct, okay? Uh, and uh, please, Yadratna, Roger Price exhibition that, that is coming in, all of these are important. The statement, criticism is the art of interpreting art. Criticism is the art of interpreting art. Who said this? Criticism is the art of interpreting art. Criticism is the art of interpreting art. He talks about its studies in the history of Renaissance, 1873. He talks about this. Very good, you see. Very nice. Absolutely right. Walter Pater. Walter Pater actually does that. Walter Pater talks about it, right? So here, that is what you are able to see. So it's not wrong. Nahi karna. Criticism is the art of interpreting art. So that is what criticism actually does, okay? That is what you are able to see. Which of the following classic books are mentioned in Italo Calavino's short essay, Why Read the Classics? Why Read the Classics? Why Read the Classics? 
Why read the classics? Which of the following classic books are mentioned in Italo Calvino's short essay? Why read the classics? Why read the classics? What is the correct answer over here? Absolutely right. Moby Dick, Anna Karenina, King Lear. So they are mentioned in Why Read the Classics, right? Yesari Kesari, they are mentioned. So in Why Read the Classics, what are you able to see? When Why Read the Classics, Italo Calvino is talking about this, right? He's talking about Moby Dick, Anna Karenina, and King Lear. Uh, that is what he's discussing. Who is the author of the Pound Era? The Pound Era is written by whom? Who is the writer behind the Pound Era? Who is the writer behind the Pound Era? Pound Era is writer behind the Pound Era? Pound Era is a work written by who is the writer writing the Pound Era? The Pound Era. This is Hakena. Okay, this is Hak Kenna that we are talking about. This is Hak Kenna who is coming in. And Hak Kenna is the person associated with the Pound Era. Okay, the Pound Era that is coming in. Again, you know, even the Wasteland is actually dedicated to uh, Ezra Pound, telling you about the contribution that Ezra Pound has actually made to create that work called together. Okay, moving on to the next question. Jonathan Swift's meditation. This is Jonathan Swift's meditation on a broomstick. Meditation on a broomstick primarily is what? Primarily is what? So, ye jo aapka hai, this is the work that you are able to see. The work is meditation on a broomstick. Meditation on a broomstick. This is written by Jonathan Swift. What is this? What is this? This came in 1701. Occasional reflections upon several subjects can then. Occasional reflections on several subjects can then. What is this? Very good. This is an essay. Okay. This is an essay that we are talking about. So, meditation upon a broomstick. Meditation upon a broomstick. This is an essay that is mocking Robert Boyle's or occasional reflections upon several subjects. Occasional reflections upon several subjects. Okay. So, that is what we are able to see. Okay. Moving on to the next question very quickly. Which of the following journals deals with the analysis of only theoretical concepts? Which of the following journals, which of the following journals deals with the analysis of only the theoretical concepts? Analysis of only the theoretical concepts. Analysis of only the theoretical concepts. Okay, absolutely right. Boundary 2 is the correct answer. So, theoretical concepts ko analyze karti hai. Boundary 2. Boundary 2 actually looks at it. Boundary 2 is looking. Just like postmodernism, maybe we were talking about theater of cruelty as an avant garde theater. So, boundary 2 will talk about this term theoretically. It will look at the work theoretically. Who's the author of the complete plain words? The complete plain words. Amazing, very important book. The complete plain words. The complete plain words. It was published in 1954. Very good, very good. Ernest Gowers is the right answer. Ernest Gowers is absolutely the right answer over here. So the complete plain words is written by Ernest Gowers. Ernest Gowers is ko likh rahe hai. It is a revision of Fowler's modern English usage. Modern English usage altogether. Okay, that is what you are able to see. Okay, moving on. Who among the following? Who among the following has coined the term gender lect? Who has coined the term gender leg? Ye jo term hai, gender, gender leg. Who's the person who's coining this term gender leg? Who's coining this term gender leg? Gender leg is a term coined by gender leg is a term coined by Deborah Tannen. Okay? Deborah Tannen is the one. Abhi kisi ne sahi nahi diya tha. Deborah Tannen, it's not Burridge, it's not Kate Burridge, it's not Kate Burridge, Deborah Tannen, jo hai, she comes up with the, uh, with the term gender left, okay. Who wrote the essay Naipaul's India and Mind as a reply to B.S. Naipaul's in Area of Darkness? Naipaul's India and Mind, Naipaul's India and Mind. Who has written this? Naipaul's India and Mind. Who's the writer who's written Naipaul's India and Mind? This is Nizam Ezekiel. Very good. Good try. Nizam Ezekiel. This is Nizam Ezekiel. So Nizam Ezekiel, Johan, he's talking about Nightfalls India and mine. And it was even banned. Remember, an area of darkness was banned for the negative portrayal. And therefore, he's trying to talk about it. He's like, he's got a different opinion of India and I have a different view of it. So that is what you're able to see. Moving on to the next question. Quickly answer this question as well. Quickly answer this question as well. So when you're looking at this question, please answer this properly. 
अच्छी तरह से टेक अ लुक एट इट ट्राई टू आंसर इट कम्प्लीटली एंड प्रॉपरली ऑल्सो ओवर ह्योर प्लीज आंसर दिस करेक्टली वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वी स्टार्ट गेटिंग द राइट आंसर विच टू पॉइंट प्लेस आई मैंशन इन टी एस एल एट ट्रेडिशनल एंड इंडिविजुअल टैलेंट ट्रेडिशनल एंड इंडिविजुअल टैलेंट में कौन कौन से प्लेस मैंशन है एग्व मेमनॉन इज मैंशन एंड ओथेलो इज मैंशन राइट एग्व मेमनॉन इज मैंशन एंड ओथेलो इज मैंशन दैट इज वॉट यू आर एबल टू सी सो एग मेमनॉन इज इज अ प्ले विच इज मैंशन एंड शेक्सपियर इज ओथेलो इज मैंशन ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट कम्स योर वे विच टू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फीचर्स शेल अप्लाई टू रोल अबाट नोशन ऑफ राइटरली टेक्स कल ही मैंने आपको बताया था रीडरली टेक्स आर्ट फॉर रीडरली आर्ट फॉर रियलिज्म राइटरली टेक्स इज लाइक मॉडर्निस्ट टेक्स राइट विच इज क्रिएटिंग इट्स मीनिंग विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ द रीडर्स सो वट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ योर वट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ योर जल्दी बताइए वट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ योर In case of a writerly text, the reader accepts the meaning without too much reading effort. This is wrong. Readerly, I mean, I have told you yesterday. This was a trick to remember. I had told you about this. This trick to remember. So, how can you remember the trick? It is art for readerly and art for realism, where the meaning is already given to you. And it is the other one, writerly. Writerly texts are the texts which are like a modernist novel, which is open to interpretation. This was the trick. to remember it yes sir only i told you about this trick so this cannot be the case writerly text is not something like that a writerly text tends to focus the attention on what is written now again yahan par this is something that is not true at all okay a writerly text makes the reader a producer that is true it is like a modern text where reader is involved in the meaning making process and a writerly text uh, tends to be self conscious so again when we are looking at it being self conscious yes yes it is because obviously it's trying to tell you certain ideas altogether okay so readerly text writerly text or writerly text the reader produces the uh, meaning as well and the text tends to be self conscious right that is what you are able to see okay moving on to the next question please quickly answer this question which two of the following are non fictional works by peter ackroyd which are the non fictional works of peter ackroyd peter ackroyd ke non fictional works kaun se hain i'll give you a hint escape from earth is there escape of earth from earth is there so i'll give you a hint escape from earth is there now tell us very good ravi pandey has got the right answer and the english ghost okay escape from earth and english ghost escape from earth and english coast that is true okay so please keep that in mind that when we are talking about peter ackroyd when we are looking at peter ackroyd this is important for you so escape from earth and the english ghost escape from earth and english coast both are there okay moving on to the next question in his self reliance which two qualities does emerson refer to as the chancellors of god which of them he refers to as the chancellors of god chancellors of god What is the correct answer of your chancellors of God? So it is something which is called as the cause and effect relationship. इसको भूलिए कहाँ? Very good disease. It is called the called the cause and effect relationship. ठीक है? The cause and effect. Uh, even in multiple practices like the Buddhist practice of Nichiren Daimoku, they talk about cause and effect. Uh, the cause and effect. You know, whatever causes you're going to be producing, that's exactly what the effect you will be getting. The cause and effect becomes very important over here. Okay. Ah, uh, moving on to the next question. Ah, uh, which two of the following are a part of Virginia Woolf's collection of autobiographical essays? Part of Virginia Woolf's autobiographical essays. Which two are a part of the autobiographical essays? Which two are a part of the autobiographical essays that are coming by Virginia Woolf? Which two are the right answers over here? Which two are a part of the autobiographical essays that you're able to see? Yes, everyone. Okay. Good try, good try. A sketch of the past is right, and yes, I am a snob. That is true. Okay, so Virginia Woolf ke jo hai, so a sketch of the past in I am a snob. I am a snob. I am a snob. These are autobiographical essays which are coming in a sketch of the past. Okay, she talks about the childhood memories. Am I a snob? A uh, very autobiographical. uh writings which is the only historical or political work printed during nicolo machiavelli's lifetime so nicolo machiavelli's lifetime so during his lifetime only these works one of these works came about the art of war theek okay? hai the art of war so what are you able to see the art of war the 
the art of war the art of oh my god the art of war is the right answer we heard okay art of war is the one where we are able to see so please remember that art of war over here becomes the correct answer okay moving on to the next question what is robert frost's main argument in the essay the figure of poem makes the figure a poem makes the figure a poem makes the figure a poem makes what is the correct answer over here the figure a poem makes the figure a poem makes no mama you have to practice it iska pdf nahi milega bachche ek aaj maine de diya tha bas aap logo ko ab aake practice karna hai theek hai yahi se practice karna hai and achhi tarah se yahi se hi dekhna hai you can watch the video multiple times if you want to and the video is available okay okay uh, so here a is absolutely right uh, robert frost main argument the figure a poem makes that all poems should be distinct from one another so as simple ho difficult ho plain ho they should be different the ideas if i'm writing it should be differently written that is what he talks about okay it should be distinguished from each other in kate bernheimer's fairy tale is form form is fairy tale what are the four elements of fairy tale that is mentioned what are the four elements of fairy tale that are mentioned what are the four elements so flatness is there uh, as a feature you know abstraction intuitiveness logic normalized magic ye sare ke sare aapke aa jate hain right all of these are actually coming in okay so please keep that in mind do remember that okay do remember that has got nothing to do manisha is paid and paid ka kuch nahi it's like we want you to work right we want you to actually write it down we want you to be organized and practice it okay so this is not capitalism over here ke bhai paid ko milega and paid ko nahi milega this is just that we want you to practice so the more you sit you will write it down the more likely you are you are to retain it that's the only idea okay otherwise pdf to aapko ke paas itni sari aur bhi mil jayengi and we we keep on giving it. right it's not that we want to hold it but the intention is to make sure that you're practicing okay so that was a sweet question knowledge is everywhere you know uh, all writers are vain selfish and lazy and at the very bottom of their motives there lies the mystery writing a book is a horrible exhausting struggle like long bout of some painful illness one would never undertake such a thing if one were not driven on by some demon whom can neither resist nor understand this is an excerpt from an essay authored by george orwell identify the essay Identify the essay. Nineteen forty-six essay, very famous essay by George Orwell. You have to identify. Very good. Wait a part. Uh, yeah. Why I write is the right answer. Okay. Why I write is the right answer over here. So why I write nineteen forty-six. He talks about why he became a writer. Right. Orwell is talking about why he actually became a writer altogether. So he discusses that at length. Uh, and this was of course published in summer uh, of nineteen forty-six. Okay. जल्दी से फाइव और क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू बी डूइंग इट टूडे सो वन बाय वन क्विकली प्लीज टेल मी यू नो द द राइट आंसर फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आर कमिंग इन इन कर्ट वॉन गर्ट कर्ट वॉन गर्ट अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ टू राइट विथ स्टाइल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पीसेस ऑफ एडवाइस आर नॉट गिवन टू द राइटर्स which of the following pieces of advice are not given to the writers which of the following pieces of advice is not given to the writers what is the correct answer it is not given so kurt vonnegut is never telling them to discard their own language he is never ever he says that first you have to write if you are passionate to be ready to cut down some sentences if necessary uh, all right and and it really helps you to have sympathy for the readers to discard first language he is never saying okay so he is not giving this advice how to write with style he is not at all trying to tell you ki aap apni native language se dur jaiye he is not trying to tell you at all okay moving on to the next question who among the following classic scholars acted as a source of inspiration on montaigne's essays he acted as a source of inspiration for montaigne's essays montaigne's essays jaldi bataiye what is the correct answer who among the following baki five questions mai aapko english literature hustlers pe english uh, literature hustlers aur jo telegram channel hai us pe mai aapko baki ke panch questions share kar dungi to total aaj ke 50 questions aapke ho jayenge jo aapne revise achhi tarah se kar lene hain theek hai so please make a note of it yes who among the following classic scholars acted as a source of inspiration on montaigne's essays what is the correct answer over here 
what is the correct answer over here so plutarch and lortius right plutarch and lortius is absolutely the correct answer over here monte you know was actually looking at them okay in which of the following works does david hume argues the foundations of morals lies with sentiment not reason lies with sentiment and not reason lies with sentiment and not reason what is the correct answer here David Hume ka jo approach hai in inquiry concerning the principles of morals uh, ke andar. So that we know A is not there, B is the right answer. Theke? So please yaan pe yaad rakhna. So he talks about, you know, he argues the foundations of morals, they lie with sentiment, not with reason. That morals is with sentimentality, that you know, your, your, something touches your heart and then you really feel for it. That is something which is very important, okay? Okay, moving on to the 44th question that we are having for all of you. Who famously popularized the term Philistines? Okay, so who was the person who popularized the term Philistines in his criticism of Victorian age? In his criticism of Victorian age. In his criticism of Victorian age. Very easy. Matthew Arnold, you time not lagna chahiye tha. Right? You bilkul bhi time nahi lagna chahiye tha. Bilkul bhi. Right? Matthew Arnold. Okay. Moving on to the last question for today. Jaldi se last question for today. Which of the following scholars wrote a text which is a reflection upon a simple living in natural surroundings, social experiment, voyage of the spiritual. Social experiment, yeah, there. Pantososocracy society, aapka lake poets bhi kar rahe hai. So what is the correct answer over here? This is very simple. The writer was also writing civil disobedience. What is the correct answer here? Very good, excellent. And Arsh. Dominator Ravi, everybody has got the right answer here. Uh, I think no, not everybody. I mean, BB It's actually Henry David Thoreau because uh, Emerson Walden ne likha hai, right? Emerson Walden ne likha hai, but he is writing Walden, so don't get confused between that. Fine. Okay. Now your homework. I'll give the five remaining questions on the platform. You can practice those questions tomorrow when we meet. Uh, we will of course practice uh, some more questions, and I'll also be focusing on certain tricks that you can remember when we will be doing those questions. So that's for elaboration. Put a little bit more. They can get so that you strengthen it. Please be very organized and disciplined. Now, when we questions practice, we are doing because you are three, three times a day practicing. Eight o'clock in class, me doing. Nine o'clock, me doing. Ten. 30 में कर रहे हो actually 9 में तो कर ही रहे हो right so uh, please sorry 9 30 में कर रहे हो तो please be very organized okay I want you all to be absolutely organized because जब तक आप organized नहीं होगे it will get very difficult uh, you will have to be a little more disciplined fine in case if there are any other answer uh, questions please feel free to let me know about it yes thanks so much future dreams I will be sharing the strategy thanks so much for the reminder I'll just do that only right now thanks Ravi Pandey uh, Good night, Ravi Pandey. Uh, yes. Uh, Sam Sangita. Uh, yeah, we, we, we have classroom classes. The classroom classes are being conducted at both 8 o'clock as well as uh, at 9.30 p.m. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Mansil. Uh, thank you so much, Devashish. Thanks, Shweta Padma. Thanks, Supratam. In case if there are any other uh, doubts or questions, please do let me know about it. I'll catch up with all of you tomorrow. All right. Uh, do practice all of these. And in case if there are any other concerns, do keep me posted about that. Fine. Thank you. God bless. Bye. See you.